So, you know, in the channel, I do a lot of gameplay test in Unreal Engine 5, testing out Nanite and Lumen, Ray Reconstruction, DLSS 3.5. But lately, I've been kit bashing environments into Unreal Engine for Fortnite, which right now actually is in the 5.4, just to really put all these technologies together. And the, the results I'm getting are actually pretty darn impressive. So that being said, what you're looking at right now is an environment that I kit bashed in here. And what's cool about it is I am not only testing the environment out, but other people are able to go in here and see what I made almost instantly. You know, once it's approved, it's pretty much good, it's pretty much good to go. Now I'm making this video because I have been making a lot of Unreal gameplays, but I've never actually put it into like a real life scenario as far as, you know, how much FPS am I going to get? What is it going to look like? Are people going to be lagging in it? And so on and so forth. So yeah, this is what this is all about right now. So I'm going to kind of show it to you. So right now this is using TSR, which is Epic Games Unreal Engine 5's default right now as far as anti-aliasing go and super resolution. And I got to say, I mean, this is pretty darn impressive. I'm also recording in the same computer and we're running this about 144 frames per second. Again, all 4K. And the, the crazy thing about this is a lot of Unreal Engine 5 games right now are getting canceled because of it's just laggy or stuttery or stuff like that. And unfortunately, Unreal is getting a really bad rep. Um, but in my opinion, it's not the actual engine. It's not the fault of the engine. It's just more of just the people are not optimizing their games because I honestly don't believe it's Unreal Engine's fault completely, I wouldn't say. But I guess we'll just have to see. I mean, I know Metal Gear Solid 3 is getting made in Unreal Engine 5, the remake, so I'm pretty curious about uh, how they're going to optimize that. But from my experience, man, even for something like this that I did in like two and a half weeks to three weeks, it's, it's the hype is real. And, and what's crazy about all this is this right here, this entire level is only 400 megabytes cooked because that's the limitation right now with Fortnite. You can only have um, up until 400 megs or you're not going to be able to publish. I'm able to squeeze all of this data and information in 400 megabytes of cooked data. Now, obviously, I had to optimize a lot of the textures, meaning I had to downrace a lot of them. So nothing here is 4K. Because I wanted it to look good, but at the same time, people, I wanted people to be able to play on it, especially in this one. This one is a one shot gun game, so it's pretty like fast paced, right? And you can kind of see that the textures are kind of loading in and out in there. Um, but man, it is truly incredible. So, with that being said, what we'll do now is I'm just going to flip around some different settings Ultra HD, and we're going to go with Epic, and I'm going to set this to TSR native. We're pretty much going to go max out on this. I'm not going to do hardware ray tracing and then apply and then I'll do apply and test. And believe it or not, you are staring at Fortnite right about now. I'm getting about 55 frames per second, right? This is TSR native resolution, man. And it looks freaking amazing. I mean, it's something that I knew was possible. But now that Unreal Engine for Fortnite is out, I can prove it. Because you're looking at it. It looks amazing. It doesn't look like Fortnite whatsoever. And that's so exciting. Because now you can technically prototype your game, your ideas, your games for free. And then have people play it like I'm doing right now. I'm live streaming on TikTok every day. And the feedback I'm getting out of this, it's so funny. When I watch it, it's like... Oh my gosh, this is real life? No, this is Fortnite. And they're like, no way. People are calling me a liar, like, like always. I mean, I, because I knew Fortnite was made in Unreal Engine 5, so I knew it can look this good. But man, it, it's one of those things that seeing is believing. And one of the crazy things is I was playing with somebody on an Xbox Series X. And he sent me a picture of what his game looked like on an Xbox Series X. And I was like, that's insane. Because obviously I don't have console. Whenever I'm optimizing, I just try to do it the best as I can. But the feedback I'm getting from PS5 players, from Xbox Series X players, it's like, yo, this is insane. This is insane. I've had people try it on a Nintendo Switch. Obviously, it's not going to look good. But, you know, it's so freaking cool to have, you know, to kit bash something like this, put some gameplay in it, and people are playing it. Like right now, there's like 30 people playing this right now. So, again, the potential of Unreal Engine for Fortnite is 
insane. It's it's insane. Not a lot of people are seeing it yet. But like always in the channels, you all know, I try to stay in front of all of these new potentials in technology. And I am telling you, this is going to change a lot of things that we are able to do this at home with no knowledge about game development. I am not a game developer whatsoever. Okay. But for somebody who can make something like this by kit bashing different assets and using no verse, no coding is truly, truly freaking insane. Now, I know DLSS 3.5 is also coming to Unreal Engine 5. So that being said, what would DLSS 3.5 look like? What would ray reconstruction look like whenever that makes it into Unreal Engine for Fortnite? But at the end of the day, don't take my word for it. If you have a computer, go check this game out. It's called The Last of Sus. You just got to type it in the discovery and you're going to see this level. Because a lot of people on TikTok, I was like, if you don't believe me, come join the game. And they all come in and they're like, whoa, it's real. And it's the craziest feeling ever. That's pretty much it for this video. I just want to showcase this demonstration of The Last of Sus again. Unreal Engine for Fortnite, Fortnite Creative, whatever you want to call it. This is Unreal Engine 5. And I got to say, man, the hype is real, even in a small area, even with just a single person doing all of this.